I love the design, I love the black. The black is really cool around the cat. The saturation and application of the tattoo is really beautiful. I love the pixels, I love the way that looks, but I've never seen that in real life. Ugh. Today, you must tattoo convention style. At a convention, hundreds and hundreds of people will come in and they want tattoos. And they don't want to wait, they want it now. It's very, very daunting. You have six hours to tattoo as many canvases as possible with the design of their choice. You'll be judged not only on how many tattoos you do, but also on the quality of your tattoos. Just like at a convention, you must be able to work quickly under pressure to survive in this competition. Based on your work, the judges will decide who deserves a shop and who doesn't. It's earn your shop or go home. Good luck. In the islands, tattoo is a very personal thing. You know, it's an exchange of energy. I don't tattoo people I don't like. I'm from the Big Island of Hawaii. I am primarily known for Polynesian tattoo, and I have clients that come from all over the world. This title's already mine. It's almost as if I'm reliving something I already know has happened. One hour remaining. So close. I can feel victory. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God. Time's up, machine's down. All right, let's call it. No uh, more ink. Done. All right, artists, time to critique your work. Roland. Well, Roland, I think I speak for every single person in this room when I look at that cat and I say, what the Art's subjective, you know? It's something that everyone's gonna look at and see something differently. This is a tattooing skill competition. That cat is just nothing other than an atrocity. Do you feel that these artists have all earned spots? Definitely not. There's a lot of people that really got off to a rough start. Roland's tattoos show us nothing that he knows anything about tattooing. This competition is all about versatility. To make it to the end, you must be able to tattoo whatever is thrown at you. Tomorrow, each of you must face off in a six-hour head-to-head tattoo with another artist. Tipper, who are you calling out? I'm calling out Amanda. I want to see her drawing skills. What style and subject will both of you be tattooing? Color illustrative, cats, bust up, motorcycle helmet. We are rock and roll. Yeah. Today should be a fun day. You get to do what you like. Yeah, today should be cool. This is my opportunity to shine, to show the world what I can do. The one thing Amanda has not had is strong illustration skills. And that is one thing that I do have. So coupled with my application, there's no way that Amanda stands a freaking chance. One hour, one hour left. It seems like it's a pretty close race. I mean, I'm actually doing a pretty good tattoo. So, just make sure your are bulletproof, dude. Yeah. No questions. I love watching head-to-heads. Yeah. This might be the most tense day I've ever had. This isn't gonna be the runaway train that Tipper thought it was. I'm excited for this chance to really show off. I'm not afraid to fight. So your drawing is a lot of heel. Just make sure everything you're doing is technically fine. Beautiful. I think you actually have a shot. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. Grudge match complete. Are you blowing off your hands because they're smoking from doing such a badass tattoo? Dude, he's so cool. You did good, dude. Oh, we'll see. Team Clean steps up to the plate. Three swings, three strikes, you're out! <laughs> Today, all of you had to face off in your own grudge match. Let's see how you did. Tiffer and Amanda. Tiffer, you called out Amanda. Let's look at your tattoo first. Technically, man, there's a lot of really nice areas to this tattoo. The way the tattoo ends seems very deliberate, but I feel like the shape of the helmet and the size of the helmet versus the size of the face, I feel like the helmet would be a little bigger. I feel like the helmet also eggs out a little bit. 
The muzzle on the cat and the mouth are the shiny moments. I like that you can see the thickness of the glove, the thickness of the jacket. But overall, I'm really impressed with how colorful this tattoo is, really using very few colors. It's a really strong outing for you. Thank you. All right, let's move on to Amanda. I think it's a really funny, fun tattoo to look at. It has a really cool look. The one thing that I wish is that you punched up something in the color. You've tattooed between the vest and you've tattooed in the chest, but it's the same color as your canvas, so kind of to no avail. But overall, I love the illustration. It is super cool. You did a great job on this thing. Thank you. Judges, it's time to determine a winner. Illustration versus illustration, I like Amanda's. My vote's for Amanda. Thank you. Tiffer's application is pretty amazing on this thing. My vote's for Tiffer. I love Amanda's effort. She comes out and shows strongly. Tiffer, with all of the light colors, has zero debate about what everything is. Tiffer. Congratulations, Tiffer. That means that you are safe from elimination. And Amanda, that means that you are up for elimination. No problem. Today, you must prove your mastery of technical application by tattooing the sternum. Oh my God. This painful and sensitive area of the body makes it an extremely difficult place to tattoo. Your application must be perfect. The skin on the sternum is super thin, and it's really easy to create blowouts or cause trauma. And for the canvas, it sucks pain-wise. What are you looking to get done? A color illustrative Egyptian sphinx cat with outspread wings in color, full color. What's the longest you've sat? Three hours. Three hours? Yeah. You came on the perfect day. <laughs> this is definitely the hardest canvas up there, and it's the hardest piece to pull off. The dark complexion on this canvas is going to make it super hard to get color into. Canvases, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Not my wings. Sphinx cat with wings. Rolly? I got you. I know you said color. Are you, are you opposed to going black and gray? No, I can't do black and gray. No. All my stuff is colored. Just because, like, you know, obviously, like, we're under a time thing. You know what I mean? The reason why it's important to me because it's the color of the flags where my parents are from. Oh, okay. In the West Indies. So that's that's why I can't change it at all. We're in a competition setting. They're going to be really hard on the color on this piece. But the I still want the color. That's very important. I feel super helpless right now. I feel like I'm literally holding up this $100,000 check and just tearing it up and throwing it in the trash. Finally, my canvas agreed to doing the piece in black and gray, as long as I put a red jewel in there. But now she's in pain. She's having a tough time getting through this tattoo. She has irregular breathing patterns. Just picture trying to run a clean line across someone's stomach, and it's just pumping. In your nose, out your mouth. Man, I bet Anthony is loving this right now. Today, you had to perfectly apply a sternum tattoo. Rolly. This application of this tattoo looks very smooth. The drawing of the cat is very cool, it's very distinct. It has an Egyptian look to it. The outline on these wings, the way you shaded these wings, it's just nice and clean. The style of shading that you use here really works well with darker skin. This is just the straightforward tattoo done just right. Yeah. Now there's no better test of ingenuity than a new school tattoo. With bright, saturated colors and crazy proportions, these images are known for their creative view of the world. New school, it's hard. You have to take something that's boring and flat and make something that you haven't seen before. My time to shine, baby! Your shop will create one tattoo on the same canvas. Yeah. However, this time, one artist will tattoo for the first three hours, and the other artist will tattoo for the last three hours. I'm gonna try to tattoo this whole tattoo in three hours, so there's little for Hobo to do. We need to survive until the next round. I wanted to put uh, like more of a, a, a fleshy pink in there to do some of the caps of the ears. I, I don't have a clue of what the I'm doing. Just kinda do what you feel like you need to do. Not only does Hobo not do new school, Hobo doesn't do color. It's a lot of pressure on him to finish this tattoo. Shane, sure, you know what you're doing. I'm losing confidence as I'm doing it and making the wrong palette choices. Man, we're crumbling bad. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink.
I like your part of it. I'm not really a huge fan of the other two cats around it. Yeah, he's great. We dropped the ball. No, you did the dope part of the tattoo. We win as a team, we lose as a team. It ain't no you, it ain't no me. We were set to fail from the beginning. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity. Boneface Inc. The drawing is super challenged. These are just two heads growing out of this little body. This little green guy on the left is totally jacked, man. One eye is round and outside of the bottom of the eyelid, and the other eye is squared off and tucked inside the eyelid. The finished product has a very amateur feel to it. It doesn't have the look of what we know Boneface's finished tattoos to look like. Today, you had to show ingenuity by tattooing new school. Time to check what the jury appears. Why did you put Boneface Inc. in the bottom? This one was pretty apparent. You know, they, they thought it was the worst one. We kind of all did, too. It was unanimous? Almost. All right, time to determine who's going home. I mean, it's a tough call for me. Worst tattoo of the day from 10 feet away is the cat. Worst tattoo of the day up close is that cupcake. For me, Black Spade is readable. It's a new school design. My vote is for Boneface Inc. Boneface Inc. I'm gonna go with Boneface Inc. The judges have decided, Boneface Inc. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. I know that you have the strengths that we're not seeing, but it just didn't work out. Artists, you have six hours for this free hand tattoo, and your time starts now. My time is included in the six hours, so I can <laughs> boogie. I love a challenge like freehanding. You have one shot to really commit to this piece of art and draw directly onto human skin. I hate it when people watch me draw. Oh, I know, it's pretty bad. Is she ever gonna get that paw looking right? Nobody knows. <laughs> Lots of artists are great tattooers, but not every tattooer is a great artist. I don't know what I was thinking the other day. I just did like, a lady head with a snake. Being a mostly realistic artist, I almost never do freehand because I'm a very calculated tattoo artist. I am so anal about my stencils. The last thing I want to fight for my life in this competition is a freehand challenge. I do draw funky shit. Gotta keep it exciting. Absolutely. Little cat butt cheeks. <laughs> What's up, Angel? Oh, man. Wow. This is cool. It's a caterpillar. A caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I love the creativeness of that. I love tattoos with a punchline. It makes me smile. I never want a repeat of the critique I just had, where I was called out for my anatomy on my snake. So today, I'm going to do anatomy times eight. I'm going to do eight legs, eight paws, a bunch of different stuff to show that I do know how to illustrate, and I can do it freehand if I have to. Is it going to go into a cocoon? Oh, <laughs> man. There's going to be times in this tattoo where I have to think outside of the box in a way that I wouldn't normally tattoo. That's adaptability at its finest. Artists, this tattoo is halfway over. You have three hours remaining. I just want to get to the part where I can button shit up because some shit just goes in sloppy when you're freehanding and you got to clean it up. Don't forget about those eyes, remember? I'm not trying to I know they're bringing it, so here I go. It's that time. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. No more ink. We We made it. I think that's it. Today, you had to face off with a freehand tattoo to prove your adaptability. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Angel, you knocked this tattoo out of the park. The face on it is awesome. The eyes, just the white highlight perfectly set in there. The piece missing off that ear, it's like this caterpillar has been wrestling. Artistically, your knowledge of anatomy on an animal that doesn't even exist makes me believe it does exist. Those feet are adorable. I just feel like you really needed an extra hour and a half to finish it. 
I wish you would have just either did more in the belly or left it completely blown out, like nothing there, because it would read a little bit better. <laughs> Time to determine who's going home. Look at Angel's cat. Anatomically, guys, that illustration is insane. Tattoo-wise, I mean, it's a little soft. I would have been blown away. And the second question would have been, when are you gonna get it finished? For today's challenge, we must tattoo neo-traditional animals. Dope. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm scared. <laughs> I love animals. They're so cute. Neo-traditional, I'm just gonna jump off a bridge. Solid, bright color. Don't mute it. Let's see what you got. Don't do any watercolor. God, shut up, I know. <laughs> That's it, machine's down. Time is up, no more ink. Today you had to demonstrate contrast by tattooing a neo-traditional animal, Tito. Really like the illustration, man. Really smooth, really great layout. This ending was really beautiful. A lot of smart choices in this tattoo. Today, you must tattoo reflections. Not only must the reflective surface be perfectly executed, you must capture the depth and detail of the reflection itself, or the illusion will be lost. And let's meet your canvases. What do you want to get done? Color, realistic, kitten, looking in water, looking back at him would be a lion. A kitten and a lion face and color realism in six hours? Wrong, try again. <laughs> Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. The Cat the Lion. Tim, what's that? The cat alone could take six hours. This man is out of his mind. You'll have six hours to show your mastery of detail by tattooing a reflection. Make sure your tattoo is a reflection of perfection, or your tattoo and you will be sent home. Good luck. Cat, lion? Yeah. Like an illustrative style. Realistic? The thing is, if we go to realism, going in for all that fur and all of that is gonna be super time consuming. This is not possible in six hours. Multi-sessions, minimum. Quite frankly, I wouldn't finish. Then you wouldn't even get the finished tattoo. I don't want nothing cartoonish. It won't be cartoonish. Color realism, Tim, you got this. Color realism, I, I usually tell people five, six hours just to do a rose, man. Like, to do a lion and the cat and everything. Don't let him talk you out of it. I just can't get off of that cartoon and stuff. Are you insane? I don't know what else I could do. I'm not that confident executing a lion face with ripples on top of it, with blue around it. Do you like these for cat colors because it's more natural? I'm cool with that. Okay, cool. Yeah. This isn't easy, attacking these time limits that are super, super difficult and getting out of my own head, having confidence, knowing that I can do what it takes to be here and win. I am my own worst enemy right now in this competition. Tim's making stupid color choices. Just a color combo, I was like, what the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna sit here and choose colors for somebody. I'm not doing that. Two hours remain, guys. Two hours remain. Five, four, three, what about drop two, on this? one. That's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. Yeah. Finished, huh? Yes, sir. Today, you had to use detail to create a reflection tattoo. Tim, what's going on? This thing's weird. The lion is strange, the cat is strange. Why'd you do a green cat? It wasn't supposed to be green, it was supposed to be like a, like a muted. Guys, what color is the cat? Green. It's pretty green to me. You've got to be able to pick the one tone that you want this cat to be. You can't be four hours into a six hour tattoo and still be working on the green cat. I'm bummed out because a lot of the stuff that they're saying is that we talked about. I went over those colors with you, didn't I not? Get pissed here if you want. I don't give a I'm just saying, like, that's just, it's just the way it went down. You and Turk are struggling because you guys are two guys that are like top notch, mm -hmm. but these tattoos aren't showing that notch. Today, you are being tested on detail. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Tim's technical was a bit off. Tim, 
The cat's green. A green cat resembles a dead cat. That's already off-putting, but the quality of the tattooing inside the puddle is not your quality of tattooing. It isn't. Against both of them, I could find better line work. I could even find better color saturation. You can find better color saturation in, in that lion? In, in, in Turks. Yeah, I could say that the vampire's coat smokes that whole bottle. But off the bat, you knew it was a lion. That's where I'm coming from. As poorly applicated as we all may agree areas of this tattoo are, I know it's a cat and I know it's a lion. Thank you. The Clash of the Coaches face off is happening right now. They've been tattooing for the last five and a half hours. All right, here's how this is gonna work. The coaches each drew a skull to determine what style they would be tattooing for this face-off. Black and gray, surrealistic, new school, or neo-traditional. And now, for the first time ever in the finale, their tattoos will be judged completely blind. Oh, yeah. Ellie, I hear Jimmy is not too happy over there. I've known Jimmy for a while. I don't know that I've ever actually seen him look happy. So, Jimmy, let's talk about your feelings right here, right now. Well, I'm feeling pretty uh, black and gray at the moment. When about did you raid my dream journal and come up with a spooky Halloween kitty cat tattoo? Because that's a little rude. Kind of an homage to you. I try to pull out my uh, evil witchness. The coaches have been tattooing for the last six hours, and time is almost up. Count it down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up, the team's down. No more ink. Yeah. Ah, that's right. Yeah. All right, coaches, clean up those tattoos and send your canvases down here. It looks a lot like a $25,000 tattoo. And we have no idea who tattooed what, because we are judging these tattoos blind. You guys ready? <laughs> Send in the first canvas, please. Let's have a look. These are all really good. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. To see a strong, new school tattoo done in black and gray with a lot of contrast, it really stands out. Everything's legible. It's a killer illustration. I like it. Smooth black and gray tattoo, so it definitely has to challenge what it's supposed to be. Thank you. All right, it is time to reveal the sixth ranked tattoo. This is a shocker. I really like this tattoo a lot. I think you did kill her. Technical skills, I know I got it. You do. Thank you, Jimmy. Please have a seat. Today, you must create a single session, 12-hour tattoo on the leg. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm sitting. Oh, my God. 12 hours? Bring it on. Let's do it. Generally, I am a large-scale artist, which means I do very long sessions on a daily basis, which means I might have an advantage going into this round. The more time you give me, the more I can show off. Your leg tattoos must speak for themselves because we will be judging them completely blind. What? Oh, that's cool. Nobody's gonna know. The judges will critique and rank each tattoo without knowing which artist created which. I love blind judging because it's it's no bullshit. None of us can talk our way out of anything. Well, I can't sell this one. Going into this design, I know for a fact that I have to compete with some of the most creative people in the world, and I have color realism to do it in, so I need to really, really bend my mind and figure out what's gonna be interesting next to everything else. I'm, I'm Jason. Kavis. Are you ready? I am excited. For the craziest day of hell both yeah. of our lives? Definitely. We're gonna do some color realism today. Oh, hell yeah. Do it with a little bit of a twist. I don't wanna pick some basic ass subject matter that they've seen a hundred times. I don't wanna do a lion or a tiger because it's just the obvious choice. Show off a bunch of texture. It's gonna like fit it. your leg really well. It's gonna be pretty big. I'm down. Cool. I've only ever done like one color realism piece this big. DJ and I have the same style, and he's really good at this. 
This tattoo is risky because it could go one of two ways. It could either be, wow, I never thought to think of realism like this, I'm obsessed with it. Or it could go, this isn't really realism and you didn't hit the challenge. I am not saving any energy for the swim home. This is my last swing to get me to the finale. There are four hours left. Artists, it's time to count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up, no more ink. Stop, we're done. You got another couple hours in you? I'm just playing. Hell yeah, I tattooed that. Yep. You sat for that. Yep. We did this. <laughs> 12 hours on the leg. The artists picked skulls to determine which style they had to tattoo, but the subject matter was up to them. We're critiquing blind. We don't know whose tattoo is whose. And we're ranking them individually, and we won't know each other's scores. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. All right, here we go. Color realism. Oh, that's mine. Wow, very impressive. The challenge is surrealism, right? Color realism. Color realism. Color realism. Yeah. Ah. Oh, welcome to the wagon, Angel. I love this tattoo. I don't know why, I just love it. You trying to sway me, Joel? No, but I'm just <laughs> saying, this is a good tattoo. I love the design, I love the black. The black is really cool around the cat. The saturation and application of the tattoo is really beautiful. I love the pixels, I love the way that looks, but I've never seen that in real life. Ugh seems to me more of surrealism. Could have totally passed for surrealism. All the background and all the pixels aren't color realism, but color realism is absolutely demonstrated in the cat of all the tricks that, that were used. I think this is brilliant. I am obsessed with this tattoo and it blows me away. Damn. Good job, Angel. Yeah. Thanks, That's guys, a good one, man. I swung hard with this thing. I just went wacky with it. It's definitely like an acid trick. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was like, your idea, yeah. yeah. There's only one person gonna make it to the next round right now. The rest of us are gonna have to pull that rabbit out of the hat again. All right, judges, let's lock in our rankings. Write down your scores for each tattoo. One being the lowest score, 10 being the highest score. We'll tally the rankings and we'll get the artists in here. Yesterday, you had to prove you have the skills, endurance, and versatility to tattoo a 12-hour leg piece. <sighs> the six of you have emerged as the best of the best. Let's get down to the business part. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos has been ranked by the judges. Please reveal the third highest ranked tattoo. That's mine. This was my favorite one. <laughs> Angel, this tattoo is awesome. You pulled out tricks that I haven't seen you pull out in this competition. I've never done them. You did one of your best tattoos ever. And ever, yeah. Aren't you a black and gray artist? Yeah, or... yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're a color like, artist now. It looks like you're a color artist, you just didn't know it. This tattoo blew me away. Thanks, dude.